Tonight's Scope, we're going to talk about uh, six tools, six components that you need to make sure that you can walk in your dreams. So Tonight's Motivational Minute is how to walk in your dreams. Tonight I'm gonna to give you six, six steps, six tools that you can use to walk in your dreams. First thing, write down your dreams. Write the vision, make it plain. Without writing down your dreams, your passions, your goals, where you wanna be, the whole nine yards, it's difficult to walk in your dreams. Because when it's up here, it sometimes gets clouded by the reality of your situation, by naysayers, by someone that is not uh, cheering you on or thinking that you can do it and negativity come in, comes in, stinking thinking comes in, and then you have to try to maintain that image, that thought process of your dreams because other stuff is trying to invade your thought process. So. First thing, write down your dreams. Second thing, research your dreams. Research is key. Find out what it takes to be the best. Find out what it takes to get into that field. Find out what you need. Find out what education level you need. Find out what skill sets you need, what trades you need, what what attributes you need in order to be able to really uh, walk in your dreams and tangibly have your dreams. I talked about concussion with Will Smith and how he looked up the, the best uh, coroner doctor he could and found out how to be the best and better than that person and he strove to do so which is why he was successful number three speak your dreams speak them speak them speak them words bring life speak them into existence that's what I say every single solitary day and as you speak those dreams it gets rid of the stinking thinking and it combines with your research and the writing down of your dreams to make sure that you can walk in your dreams that you can have your dreams when it's time what's up DeAndre Number four, develop a plan. You can't just speak it. You can't just write it down. You've got to develop a plan. You have to have a roadmap. Back in the day, the Thomas Guide Atlas was used to figure out where you're going before GPS and before the computer told you where to go. And back in the day, we used to memorize how to get from point A to point B as opposed to putting it in our GPS and not really paying attention because we're being guided by someone. But on the path of your dreams, on the path of your goals, and realizing those, you have to have a plan. Develop your plan. Follow your plan. And as you're developing your plan, you're following your plan, you're speaking your dreams out, you're continually researching, and you're going off of what you've written down as your dreams and goals, so that way you can, can walk in it one day. Number five, execute your plan. Execute your plan. As you execute your plan, you've got to be patient. Because in the execution of your plan, you will have to tweak things here and there. You will have to change this or change that to make sure that you're still on goal with the dream that you've written down. That dream that you've written down is the passion that's burning inside of your soul that you would do for free because that's how passionately you want to do it. That's how much you want to do it. So you've got to execute your plan and don't be afraid to change it. Don't be afraid to adjust it along the way to make sure that that goal that you're reaching for, that dream that you're striving for, you can and will achieve it. And don't forget, as you execute your plan, you're continually developing your plan, you're speaking your dreams out loud, you're continually researching your dreams because it's necessary to research all along the way, and you're going off of what you've written down as your dreams. Now, no, sometimes the dream that you've written down changes as you're going through these steps to 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 uh, walk in your dreams and your passions and your goals. So know that if it, if you write it down and it changes, it's okay. If you write it down and it changes, it's totally fine. And then number six, um, uh, who's uh, and number six, you have walk in your dreams. Walk in your dreams. You can do it. You can have it. You have to believe that you can do it. And in that belief process, it goes along with the steps one through six. So remember, step one, write down your dreams. Number two, research your dreams. Number three, speak it out loud because words bring life. Speak them into existence. Four, develop your plan because with your plan, you can execute that plan and be patient. And as you're being patient in the execution of your plan, you'll be able to walk in your dreams. I'm not saying a timeline on when you'll be able to materialize that dream and when you'll be able to see that dream come to fruition. But I guarantee you, if you follow those six steps and be patient along the way, learning and growing with everything that you're doing along the way, you will be able to reach your dreams. 
Thank you all for joining. Thank you for tuning in. Check out my website, danielpferguson.com, for more motivational minutes. This one will be up on YouTube soon after. And I truly appreciate you all. And remember, words bring life. Speak them into existence. Your greatness is waiting. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And have a wonderful day.